tidal power. Tidal power is a form of hydropower that converts the energy from the natural rise and fall of the tides into electricity. Tides are caused by the combined effects of gravitational forces exerted by the moon, the sun, and the rotation of the earth. Tidal plants can only be installed along coastlines. Coastlines often experience two high tides and two low tides on a daily basis. The difference in water levels must be at least five meters high to produce electricity. Tidal electricity can be created from several technologies, the main ones being tidal barrages, tidal fences, and tidal turbines. Tidal barrages are the most efficient tidal energy sources. A tidal barrage is a dam that utilizes the potential energy generated by the change in height between high and low tides. This energy turns a turbine or compresses air, which in turn creates electricity. Tidal fences are turbines that operate like giant turnstiles, whereas tidal turbines are similar to wind turbines, only underwater. In both cases, electricity is generated when the mechanical energy of tidal currents turns turbines connected to a generator. The generator produces electricity. Ocean currents generate relatively more energy than air currents because ocean water is 832 times more dense than air and therefore applies greater force on the turbines. Tidal power is easy to install and renewable, having no direct greenhouse gas emissions and a low environmental impact. Because the ocean's tidal patterns are well understood, tidal energy is a very predictable energy source, making it highly attractive for electrical grid management. This sets it apart from other renewables that can be more unpredictable. However, adoption of tidal technologies has been slow, and so far, the amount of power generated using tidal power plants is very small. This is due largely to the very specific site requirements necessary to produce tidal electricity. Additionally, tide cycles do not always match the daily consumption patterns of electricity, and therefore do not provide sufficient capacity to satisfy demand. That's tidal power. Hydroelectric power was the great renewable energy source of the 20th century, and it will continue to provide gigawatts of power. But with most of the world's rivers already dammed, the future of hydropower will come from the sea. Of the various technologies to capture the ocean's energy, a tidal barrage is the closest in design to traditional hydropower. The barrage is essentially a dam, collecting water from high tide until there's sufficient potential energy for power generation, then forcing the water through turbines when released during low tide. The world's largest and oldest tidal barrage at Laurence, France, began producing power in 1966. Today, it still powers 240,000 homes. A more recent technology, known as tidal stream power, uses propeller-like turbines to capture the kinetic energy of underwater currents. And that's one that we could do in all manner of places, because the tidal flow, of course, takes place everywhere on Earth. And harvesting those could be done quite well, and doesn't even have to be at the surface. The issue, though, is that the marine environment is pretty tough to deal with. There's corrosion, parts being banged back and forth. Often the cost of managing those in terms of repairs can be quite large. But we're seeing new work on that. Much of the work is taking place in the British Isles, where companies such as Marine Current Turbines are thinking big, sinking massive pilings into the ocean floor, and letting the turbines do their work. And the amount of energy you get out of a turbine is proportional directly to the density of the fluid that flows back and forth. And so a water turbine has several hundred times the power of, a wa of an air turbine. A most promising energy solution today is to harness the kinetic power of the ocean waves and the flowing currents of sea or river. Many projects are underway and they claim to generate enough electrical energy for millions of homes without burning fossil fuels. These forces of nature are free, steady and predictable. This video presents a new invention on various revolutionary fluid currents energy converter device by combining double acting fluid pumping apparatuses and moving pontoon and racks to convert ocean waves or flowing currents into electricity. 
The two fundamental mechanical devices are the movable device and the fixed device. Double acting piston pump. A piston is arranged to reciprocate as its piston rod is actuated by a float. When the float moves up as a rising wave passes, it pushes the piston upward and resulting dynamic flow of the fluid closes the left inlet by the ball and fluid pumped out through the center top outlet. At the same time, it causes fluid to flow through the right hand inlet into the chamber. When the float moves down, it pulls the piston downward and partial vacuum generated at the left hand inlet causes the top left ball to open and allow the fluid to flow in. At the same time, Fluid pressure on the lower side of the piston becomes higher and it causes fluid to flow through the bottom channel into the right hand chamber and pump out through the center top outlet. Based on the fundamental piston reciprocates working principle, many designs of energy converter can be configured. In this example, a submerged pump is operated to pump water to an elevated storage tank. Water from the storage tank is channeled to rotate a fluid motor or a turbine which in turn rotates a generator to produce electricity. An air piston pump is disposed above the water level. The accumulator and flow control valve help to maintain a more constant air flow to drive a turbine and a generator. This design is integrated to operable both air and water piston pump. A T-shaped actuator bar is pivoted to the body of the pump such that when the float is pushed up and down by wave forces, the actuator bar oscillates about a pivot and, in turn, reciprocates the pistons. This actuator bar pump system uses the above single piston pump and a float pivoted to rise and fall with wave forces. Each pump body is configured to include two actuator T-bar piston pumps being arranged end-to-end -end with a sealed turbine disposed in between. The piston of two pumps is interconnected and is linked to a floating pontoon. Now a paddle is pivoted on the pontoon such that when the ocean undercurrents oscillate the paddle, it reciprocates two pistons to pump air and water in a double acting manner. This design oscillates the actuator T-bar. On the top side of the rotary wheel there is a crank pin or shaft that is located at a radius from the center of the rotary wheel. This piston rods of pumps are separatedly connected to the crankshaft through two link bars. The vertical rotary wheel has a plurality of peripheral aerofoil veins and is partially submerged in a body of running water to catch the running currents and rotate. This design deploy in seabed. When water currents flow through the face of the pendulum member, a lifting force is generated and the pendulum member swings oscillate. This rotary wheel and piston pumps assembly is suspended from a boom on a mobile trailer. A plurality of one or more of the above piston pump configurations can be connected in a network. An ocean farm system comprises a number of network combinations of the above devices, be they the same, mixed or different configurations being linked mechanically or electrically. This concept design is simple and unsophisticated, thus allowing us to harness huge unlimited renewable energy from our surrounding. If you can solve the power, you can solve almost anything.